Good afternoon everyone. Today we have our 1999 Bayliner 2855 Sierra powered with a 7.4 liter Merc Cruiser big block engine. Owner says there's very light hours on it. Uh, he expects it to definitely be under 500. Uh, there is no hour meter on the dash but we are able to plug a diag diag into the engine and we can get the exact hours we just haven't done it yet so if we get a series fire we will certainly get that done for you but uh, we don't know right this second boat uh, shows well has been very kept in very good condition throughout the years gel coat on both port and starboard are in pretty good shape has a nice shine to her with a buff and a wax the stickers may be the worst, you know, I guess if you want to call it a flaw. Actually, that's just uh, looks like a buffing compound or something. Um, it does not come with a trailer that's under it. This is a yard trailer. Boat is sold without a trailer. I'll show you both sides of the boat as well as the outdrive. Boat is powered with a Bravo 3 dual prop outdrive. It's been treated and ready to be kept in the water for a season of use with newer zincs. We don't have heavy corrosion on the outdrive and the boots and bellows look to be in pretty good shape as well. I'm not going to be able to walk all the way down this side because the boats are too tight together but uh, the, this side of the boat shows just as good as the other side of the boat if you can see. It does have the optional radar arch with a full canvas enclosure which is currently three quarters of it is up. We also have the backdrop but we had to take it off in order to take the boat for a ride because it is hot. Hydraulic Bennett trim tabs, fresh coat of bottom paint, ready to dip in. These bay liners are very popular because based on price and size you get a lot of amenities. This particular boat comes with a full bimini top and full canvas enclosure. As you can see, the enclosure is in excellent shape. No rips or tears, no cloudy glass. The back bench seat folds down for additional seating area uh, when taking out guests and the upholstery is in good shape. Minor discoloration on the top there, but no rips, no tears. Still soft to the touch. Another cool feature about Bay Line, this boat in particular, but the Sierras, is this is a flip seat. So the backrest, if you're hanging out and floating the creek, you can put the rest like that. So you're, everyone's talking in the cockpit area and kind of hanging out. And if you're underway while driving or navigating, you tilt it this way. So you're all hanging out up front little foot pedestal and storage area right here. Engine locker is right here beneath us. I'm going to try to open it. There's the fuel injected Merc Cruiser engine. Manifold and risers were replaced in the last five years. They're not original. Hot water heater, twin batteries, typical 2855. This boat also does have air conditioning, by the way, which is a nice feature. Some of them don't have it. VHF radio, built-in depth finder, big dash. Here's the big seating area in the cockpit, which the boat has a ton of seating. Uh, all the upholstery is in good condition. For 1999, this boat shows well. We even still have a shine on the dash. That's a nice, you know, somebody's kept it covered and kept it detailed every year. As we walk into the cabin, it's a little warm in here, you have a ton of space. I'm 5'10 and I can step in and I don't have to duck my head down. I'm probably a six foot one or two guy could easily, or gal can easily get in here. The, currently the uh, windows are curtains are down but you have windows on both port and starboard side to allow a lot of light in here if you'd like it to be. Um, you have a full galley with a sink 
Uh, alcohol, no, electric stove. You also have a microwave, more seating area, V berth for uh, an area to lay down. You also have a dinette, a refrigerator. That refrigerator looks like it's been replaced. The dinette will sit, uh, this table will sit down flush with the rest of the bench and you can put a cushion on top of it for another area for maybe two kids to uh, lay down and kind of sleep overnight if you're going to be doing any overnighting. The carpet shows very well, no wear or um, you know, wearing or molding or any type of water stains. It's been kept in good shape. Boat does have a climate control. Your air conditioning controls are right there. And this whole cabin is, when hooked up to shore power, you can turn the air conditioning on and make it nice and cold in here, as well as heat. It does has reverse cycle heat. Fresh water system. Obviously, that's another cool feature. Here's your shore panel hookup. As you can see, more storage in here, a table. What's cool about this boat, it has a big aft cabin. For a 28 foot boat, two people can easily lay down it back here and it has an air conditioning vent back here for an overnight stay and it be very comfortable. I mean, look how big it is, the whole width of the boat. So yes, you can certainly lay down in here, two people comfortably, one very comfortably. You also have a window for ventilation if you so choose, a little courtesy lights. Enclosed head is over here. Little wash sink, storage for toilet paper and toiletries underneath. This can also be pulled out and used as a shower. It has a drain in the floor, you can see. Jabs go pump out toilet with a holding tank. It also has a shower pump. Window in the bathroom as well, guys. Cool little boat and in very good shape for 1999. We've seen a, and many of these throughout the years and they're not always in this good of a shape. So uh, let's go put her in the water, show you how she runs. And then give us a call from there if you have more questions on the boat. There's also a cool uh, area here for another pedestal for a uh, dining table if you're having some cocktails and uh, appetizers. Let's go throw her in the water. Alright guys, that is our 1999 2855 Bayliner Sierra, <clears throat> powered with the big block 7.4 liter Merc Cruiser engine. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the bottom right hand corner of this ad, our logo, and you'll automatically subscribe to our channel for the most up to date listings. Please double check our website after watching this video, mdboatsales.com, to make sure the boat is still available and to check out our other inventory. Thanks for watching. Um, give us a call, 443-324-1368.